Hey Leah, um, this is your uh, teacher, Mr. Hamrick. I thought it'd be easier if I just made a little video to show you how to do a prime factorization. Um, so I'm going to do one here for your question, which was 40, and then we'll do a little bit harder one. When I teach this in class, I start with the number 40, uh, written here, kind of like this, or whatever your number is. And then when you need to know your prime numbers, all right? Prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by one in themselves only. All right, so generally, if you know the first five, you can do a prime factorization of most any number. But 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, uh, 13, it goes on, 17 is the next one, 19. All those numbers right there are divisible only by one in themselves. All right, so what I do is I start with the first prime number, 2. And I say, does 2 go into 40? Yeah, 2 goes into 40 20 times. All right, now I stick with 2 until 2 doesn't go into my number anymore. I right, does 2 go into 20? Yep, 2 goes into 20 10 times. Stick with 2. Does 2 go into 10? Yep, 2 goes into 10 5 times. Now when this number out here on the end is a prime number and 5 is a prime number, then you know you're done. What I do is I kind of draw a little hockey stick here around my numbers. And so the prime factorization for 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. When we say prime factorization, we mean that all these numbers, all four of those numbers are prime numbers, and when you multiply them together, you get 40. And in fact, there's a rule in math that says every number can be written with a unique combination of prime numbers. Now, let me show you a little bit harder one just to kind of show you how this works on a big scale. I'm going to do the number 504, let's say. All right, so 2 goes into 504, and I know that because it ends with a 4, right? 2 goes into any even number. So now in this case, I'm going to have to come over here to the side and do 2 into 504 and get that that goes 2. Now, you're welcome to use your, uh, I suggest you don't use your calculator, but you're welcome to uh, on something like this to save a little bit of time. All right, so... 2 goes into 504 252 times. All right, let's stick with 2 now. 2 goes into 252. Let's see how many that goes. It might be a little faster. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 5 2 times. 2 goes into 12 6 times. So 2 and 126. And now let's stick with 2. 2 still goes into 126. Now we're getting ready to run out, I think, here. The things that 2 won't go into this. So 2 goes into 12 6 times, and 2 goes into 6 3 times, so 63. Now, 2 does not go into 63, because 63 is, a, uh, is an odd number. So we're done with 2. 2 is no longer an option. 2 will never, ever go into this number ever again. All right, so now I'm going to say, does 3 go into my number? And 3 goes into 63. Maybe you can see that. 3 goes into 63. 3 goes into 6 two times, and 3 goes into 3 one time. So we got 3 and 21. And now we're getting down to numbers you might have memorized from your multiplications tables. Now I stick with 3. 3 goes into 21, and it goes 7 times. So now this is a big example, right? But that set of numbers, three twos, two threes, and a seven, all multiplied together, equals 504. So anyway, I hope that was uh, kind of helpful to you. And um, uh, let me know if you have any questions about it.